do have more. Thanks so much, Leanne. Yes, philanthropist and arts angel Carolyn Stane is joining me this morning uh, to talk about this blanket drive that she started. I mean, it literally went onto Facebook and went viral, and she's here today to make sure that we all get to hear about it as well. And joining her, uh, I call him the biggest entertainer by far, uh, Michael Dupin is here as well. The last time we saw you on TV, Michael, you were wearing underwear, and today you're doing good. <laughs> Well, I have a little more on. <laughs> yes, thank goodness. <laughs> Michael, Monday is a particularly good day. you one of the, the ambassadors. You're an MC for what's happening on Monday. Tell me more about the leading men concert that's coming our way on Monday. Well, we, we did leading ladies of South African musical theatre, and now we're doing leading men. And we've got some fantastic artists. We've got Jonathan Rocksmith. We've got Andre Schwartz. We've got Ferdinand Ganant. We've got Sito. We've got Michael Timber. We've got La Jacques Largesse. Timothy we've got Malloy. Keith Smith, Timothy Malloy. He's Sweeter. And me. And you. And we've got the St. <laughs> David's Chamber Choir who are okay. going to be singing the most amazing piece featuring a lovely, lovely, beautiful young boy called Siabonga. So it's going to be an exciting evening and it's the first time we've ever done anything like that to get all the stars, musical stars I call them, out on one stage. It's not been easy, but we, <laughs> we will have fun. I can promise it's you that. It's history. It's history. history. It's history in the making. In the making. Mm. Well, Carolyn's making history because, I mean, 10 years ago when I met you, I didn't even know you could hold a knitting needle, <laughs> let alone knit so many that we all are, because that's what we've been doing the whole morning. We've been knitting. I'm, I'm very, very impressed, I must say, to see all these people yeah. in the studio. I mean, everybody's knitting away. Guys, I'm so impressed with the men that are doing this. Mm. Timothy Malloy learned how to crochet on YouTube. Wow. Cosmo's sexiest guy, 2014, is making a blanket. You see? Jonathan That's Boynton me. B. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, this is a passion. It's something that's turned literally the world upside down. Why are you doing this? Well, Zelda Lachranzi challenged me to do it, and I said, yes, ma'am. Mm. And when I say yes, then I tend to stick to it. Mm -hmm. And um, when I saw the people were grabbing onto it and really getting passionate about it and wanting to do something and making a difference stitch by stitch, I, it's, it's become a passion. It's become a driving force in my life. We, we called it the 67 blankets for Mandela Day. What are you hoping to do? So Monday there's a concert and, and a whole bunch of artists that uh, you call knitwits because they're all knitting. Uh, you, happy hookers. Happy hookers. Oh, they're lovely. <laughs> what are you hoping to do and achieve? I mean, where are these blankets going to go? Well, we've already started handing out blankets when the, when the cold hit. But I'm yeah. going to be going with, with Zelda Lachranzi and the bikers for Mandela Day into um, Dipsluit. Right. We're going to hand out there. We're going into Soweto, into Soweto. I'm working with the Nelson Mandela Foundation to identify other spots. Going to Hammond's Kral, there's a deaf yeah. school there. They've got absolutely nothing. Mm. They sleep on the floor, I hear. Mm. So we're going to be giving blankets out there as well. One of the things that Carolyn mentioned earlier was that, you know, it's so awesome to be in a situation where you are face to face with the problem instead of just sitting and delegating. Why is it important for you to go in the community? Because I'm going to say this, you know, you have enough money to stay at home. You're married to a very wealthy man. You mm. could easily have just decided that you're going to buy it all. Why do you want to get involved like that? Why do you want to touch people? I think I've learned a lot from my mom, who grew up in an orphanage, mm. and she knew what it was like to have absolutely nothing. Yeah. And my entire life, growing up, she was always giving, giving, giving. Mm. And um, I think she imparted that, and um, I also know what it's like not to have. Mm. I didn't come from a very wealthy home Family, at all. Yeah. In actual fact, we were quite poor. And um, I'm getting emotional. Me too. <laughs> let, let you, me take she over. makes us cry on the show. She always cries. <laughs> she can dry out the drop of a hat. But the one thing about Carolyn, she has had li a life that's gone up and down, good times, bad mm -hmm. times, like a lot of us. Some have been quite severe. So we've been talking to her about writing a book. And if she does write a book... She's actually crying on the show. You're going to make us all cry. <laughs> if she does write a book, I promise you, I think we... Well, I probably will have to leave town. Well, one thing that's... <laughs> I, might, I, I might get shot, but I'm going to write a book. You must. You yeah. must. And, and hopefully this will also be in that book. Setting an example of literally being out there. 67 Blankets for Mandela Day. Of course, there's details on our website and our Facebook page as to how you can get involved. Also, they're on top billing tonight. And when I said top billing earlier, she jumped up and she became so excited. But she's on Expresso this morning. I know. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I mean, I'm taking over the airwaves with this blanket thing. I'm the blanket lady. People probably think I've got 20 cats at home as well. No, you don't. So the blanket lady is on top of tonight, 8.30 on SABC3. You don't want to miss out on it so that you can also get involved. Listen, your husband gave you that very bling ring. How many carrots is that? 
Eight. Eight carrots on your finger. It's a bit smaller than the I'm last gonna one. I'm going to hold it during the ad break. Give me your hand, Carolyn. We'll be back after this. <laughs> wow, that's amazing.